Hey guys, seemed like winter was going to hang on forever. Spring didn't exist, we're in the summer and we're the hot temperatures already. But in the heat, that gets me thinking top water, or we're going to catch some fish with a frog. So I thought this week we'd go ahead, we're going to paint a top water popper, and we're going to paint it in a frog pattern. Stick with me. Alright, no bill on the poppers. We'll use the helping hands to hang on to this one today. As always, start out Createx opaque white and we'll put a base coat on it. Alright, there we go. Nice even coat in the white. Clean the brush out. We'll get ready for some paint colors. Okay, for our frog pattern. You know, you buy a lot of rubber frogs, and it seems like they always have white bellies on them. And I don't know why. I don't, never understood white bellies on a frog. I mean, a fish is looking up at a sky. Everything's light. Everything's light colored, and then you put a white belly. I guess that's why I like black frogs, and that's why we painted, in the past, a black popper. But this is what we're going to do, frog. So we're going to put a yellow belly on our frog. And we're going to use the Createx Transparent in a bright yellow. And we'll just come that right down the belly. Going to go about halfway up the side as we usually do. There we go. We got our nice bright belly. About halfway up the side, that should do it. Let me wash this out and we'll move on to the top. All right, we have our belly done. I've got, you know, I've used a lot of this pearlized lime, but that's a little too light. I think I'm gonna try the Createx Pearlized Pearl Green. It's pretty, pretty dark green. Let's give that a shot and see what we get. Right down the back. Let it drift down the sides. And there we go. Just lighten it down a little. Well, you know what? Let's come down a little more on the side on this. There we go. All right, I like that a little bit, a little farther down. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the head all green. I'm going to get the gills here and put that all green. I'm going to shoot from back to front so if I get any overspray it comes out up here, not back on the lure itself. Same way on this side. There we go. Now we end up with the green on the head. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the red inside the mouth, and I, you know, that's what you see a lot of poppers got the red in the mouth. That's supposed to help attract the fish. I don't know if a frog actually has red inside the mouth or not, but we're going to go ahead and put it in there. So let me clean this out, and we'll move on to that. All right, for inside the mouth, I'm going to use a Createx Transparent Bright Red, and we'll just shoot right down inside the mouth, trying to be careful. We keep it all inside there if we can. I did a little close, but there we go. We're going to call that good. I got it red. That's all I care about. All right. Tell you what. Looks a little plain. I'm going to take the heat gun. We're going to dry it all off. And then we're going to get out the toothbrush. And let's splatter a little paint on this thing to add a little bit of, a uh, little something extra to it. All right. For the splatter, we're just going to use some opaque black. The Createx Opaque Black. And we'll just got a little bit on the paper towel here. Let me hit a little bit ahead of time. Just kind of dip it in, flick it a little bit. All right, but now what I want to do also is we're going to do that belly too. 
See if I can get it around here where I can get to the belly. I'm going to have to do this from two sides. Yeah, we're going to come around this side now. Tip it around this way. There we go. Alright, just add a little, well, you know what, he's a little light right there, ain't he? There we go. It's how much you think you want, that's what it comes down to. Alright, got a little color on him, a little bit extra that way. As always, set of eyes, top coat, we'll see what we got. Well, there we go, guys. My top water popper in a frog pattern. Man, I can't wait to get this out and fish this over the top of some submerged vegetation. See what comes through to go after it. Thanks a lot for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.